okay welcome again oh, on this video we are going to create our first Django template and we are going to render our website so as you remember we had this app called contact so just right click here and create a new folder and name it templates Okay, so let's just try to see this. We have a project called my site and inside my site we have this contact and inside contact we have templates. So what are templates? Templates are like those index.html, home.html and something like that. So why don't let, let us go and configure our URLs first and then we come back to these templates and write a function to render these templates. So let's go to my site here. Yeah. Let's look for this one here urls.py. Okay. As you can see, we have this this url here but for us we what we want to do if someone tries to access this page here it should be home page then slash contact and how are we going to do this if we go back to our code here so we need to include something like include here Yes, yes, here include. So then we need to come down here and copy this one here. Just copy it and paste it down. Yes. So instead of writing this, we just give it a space, remove this admin. And just write here include mean include then just to remove this include just to say do know is contact contact dot urls need to have one bracket here yeah so like this just follow along and see and write what i've written here yes contact dot urls and now let's go back to our contact app here so right click here and create a new file and name it urls.py okay good so let's just let's just go back here and copy this one here from my site let's just copy this okay and paste here to our urls.py just paste it, paste it here now oh, it's drain yes just remove this the top header we don't need this one okay and now we also don't need this Yeah, now good. So instead of putting blank here, let us write our contact page. Okay. Like this. And
use. I will explain this later but for now as you can see why we wrote this we mean that when someone tries to access this home page slash contact should be directed to the function as I explained earlier that these uh, views are the function so we are going to create a function called contact and the alternative name is going to be contact so this function will redirect us to our contact page so before doing that we need to import so we write from this directory import main import sorry not this one capital C import import views okay let's go ahead and save this okay let's go back to our views.py so let's create a function let's call it contact it's from our area here and this function Yes, should pass on a request. Okay, just create a normal fun Python function. Should it end? Should it return? Render. Then request. Then the name of our template we're going to call it index this should be a string index dot html then we can opt to pass a dictionary and what this wherever this sorry Hey, just for now return these two okay yes low okay now let's go to template you know our templates and let us create this index.html template okay right click here and create a new file and name it index.html okay now let us just create a paragraph here IP it's a paragraph and just say this is a hero oh I don't know what kind of hero world okay let's go ahead and save this so just to make things right we created a template a folder named template and then inside template we created this html a page a paragraph index.html calling hero world now if you go back to our views we defined a function called contact and then contact rendered a template index.html and if you come back to our urls we see we have our path here so we are going to we are going to run our server and try to access this one here and see if we can get this hero world okay Remember, you can learn your, your terminal on, on your terminal on VS Code, but I'm going to learn it on a command prompt. So here, 
let's try and see if we have no errors so our server is learning correctly so let us try and to access this if we, we will be able to access our contact page now remember we have this this is our home this one here and this is our contact page let us try to access this press enter wow we get page not found what is the problem here let's go out and let's go and figure out what the problem here all right guys here is the problem we have a problem here this should be a string okay this one here should be a string that's why you can get our page yes now let us change this one to string remember it's inside uh, the URL from our main project let us add this to string yes okay let's go ahead and save this and let us here save this let us try to access your page again yes now we have hero wait so guys this is very perfect if you are able to be here means you are getting somewhere so just cheer yourself and on another video i'm going to show you how we can put our website i mean our contact page to look like this one so we are going to configure static files and if you don't know the static files i'm going to explain it for you so thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next video